Nowadays, Cav is a singer for hire, playing small gigs up and down the country. You kind of get used to just packing your case off to the next place, but you just got to swallow your pride at the end of the day. It's one night you can make more than some people can make in a week, so it doesn't matter really, you just got to go on there. Today, he's looking forward to entertaining lucky punters in the seaside resort of Great Yarmouth. I get in the dressing room and I'm like, oh God, and I see the set list and I'm just thinking, this is not what I want to be singing. I don't want to sing these songs, but for me to go out there and do what I want to do, they're not interested in that either. I'm being hired to, to entertain punters, to sing songs that they know, cover versions, stuff like that. Half of them don't even know who Kavanagh is. <laughs> Definitely it's funny because, like, I don't think the other guys in the band realise that this is kind of stuff that I, I've had to do. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not something that I want to shout from the rooftops, and I'm certainly not ashamed of it, but you know, you've got Gareth who's doing these big primetime TV shows, you know, Dane does his DJing stuff. You know, I'm here in a holiday park in Yarmouth. How did, it, how did this happen? You've really got to join in now and really help me. This wasn't part of the plan. I can make you feel good. I, you feel good. I need to survive and, and this is what I, I only know how to do, which is to perform, which is to sing and entertain. These are actually more scarier than doing a big show because you can see all the faces. They're all sat there with the pints and most of them are looking at you like they want to kill you. You know? But to be on a big stage where you can't see the faces but they're actually loving the nostalgia and loving it, that's why I want to do this. And as for Cav's private life, there's something he's been keeping under wraps. It wasn't until I moved to America that, you know, I realised that I was gay. When I was obviously doing my pop stuff, there was nobody that was out. There was nobody. This was before even, you know, Stephen Gately came out. So you just were conditioned not to say it. And then the lie becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and you just got to keep going with it. Then my career was over, so I didn't have to. But do I, am I attracted to guys? Yeah, I am. Have I had relations with guys? Yeah, I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> 